Welcome back. We're seeing something that we really didn't want to see happen in the Gulf of Mexico. And this storm, Laura, is rapidly intensifying uh, this morning. You can definitely see the eye has formed and you can see the blow off around the top of this storm. Uh, it's it's a textbook structure right now for a hurricane and they're expecting to get even stronger as we head towards later on this afternoon to become a category four hurricane right now category two with winds at 110 miles an hour moving to the northwest at about 15 miles per hour it'll continue to move off towards the northwest as we head into uh, later on today into tonight um, we are looking at a Category 4 later on this afternoon. They are expecting it to be a Category 4 still as it makes its way towards the coast. Right after it comes on shore, they think it's going to uh, drop off to a Category 3, knock the winds down maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, it's going to move quickly through like we've been telling you, and by the time we get into a Thursday afternoon, it'll already be out of the area and moving up into parts of um, northern Louisiana, at least the center part of the storm, still going to be dragging in some moisture throughout the day on Thursday, but the winds will come down. Things will improve, but we're going to see a good um, 12 to 8 hour period there late Wednesday evening, uh, early morning hours on Thursday where we're going to be dealing with hurricane force winds, heavy rainfall, and a lot of storm surge along the coast of uh, parts of southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana. It's going to quickly move out of here as we go towards uh, the end of the week into the weekend. Hurricane warning of course are up through all of southeast Texas southwest Louisiana uh, the hurricane force winds extend about 70 miles from the center so that's putting, going to put a hurricane force winds uh, over towards Baytown and maybe even over towards Lafayette it might even extend that far uh, from the center of the storm uh, tropical storm force winds we're talking about winds that about 39 miles per hour or higher extend out uh, 175 miles from the center. So we're looking at Houston, we're looking at uh, tropical storm force winds, Conroe, uh, you're talking about Laf Lafayette, Baton Rouge, seeing uh, tropical storm force winds as we go towards late tonight into the first part of the day on Thursday. And then we have the storm surge, storm surge warning right now uh, for Orange County and Jefferson County as we're expecting storm surge upwards of uh, 9, 10 feet, maybe some places closer to 13 feet, especially as you get up into uh, parts of maybe Orange County going to uh, late tonight into the first part of the day on Thursday. Radar's pretty quiet this morning. You really don't see a whole lot of activity out there. A couple of showers in the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to be picking up. Here's future cast, and it shows fairly quiet morning. A couple of showers kind of move across the area as we head towards the lunchtime into the early afternoon. Uh, by the time we get towards 5 o'clock, we're already probably starting to feel a couple of those tropical storm force gusts come through the area. Uh, we'll see that through the evening. As we get late in the evening, though, we'll start to feel some hurricane force winds start to move in, especially right along the coast. We're talking about Jefferson County, Orange County. County, uh, Cameron Parish, Calcasieu Parish, and then here we go towards midnight, one o'clock. The eye wall will start to get close to the coast. That's where we're going to see those 120, 130 mile an hour winds right along that eye wall, and you can possibly see some tornadoes spin up, especially east of that eye wall as we get into the early morning hours on Thursday. By three o'clock, it'll be just inland off the coast. As we head towards six o'clock, it'll be a little bit farther inland. Winds will start to die down a little bit here. Rains will start to start to taper off by 9 o'clock. It looks like it's going to be up north of us, 9, 10 o'clock. Rains will start to uh, kind of shut down a little bit, and the winds will also start to calm down. So we're, like I said, we're looking at from, say, almost uh, 10 o'clock to 10 o'clock, a 12-hour period where we'll deal with the least tropical storm force winds, maybe a good 5 or 6-hour period there where we're going to deal with hurricane force winds across the area. So, uh, hunker down if you're going to be staying. Uh, if it wasn't, if it was me, I would not be staying, especially if you live in a mobile home. I'd get out of that, go to a substantial structure. Uh, those are only rated generally for about 100 mile an hour winds. So uh, definitely if you live in a mobile home, I'd find somewhere else to go, maybe a shelter or somebody else's, a friend's house, a uh, brick house or something like that. Probability of uh, tropical storm force winds, almost 100% of uh, southeast Texas will see those. And then as we're looking at hurricane force winds, uh, a good large section of southeast Texas will see those well, as well. At least 60%, I think, will be seeing some hurricane force winds. Uh, at 74 or higher. As we take a look at rainfall amounts, uh, they're going to be the heaviest, of course, on the east side of the storm, but we could see a good uh, four to eight inches across most of southeast Texas, maybe some uh, isolated spots upwards of uh, 10 to 12 inches of rainfall, especially close to the center of the storm. So tropical storm conditions uh, will be uh, developing late this afternoon. Winds will be increasing. East winds at about 10 
to, uh, 10 to 25 miles per hour. And then hurricane conditions as we go through the overnight with west winds at 15 to 65, gusts to 85, maybe even higher than that with heavy rain moving in and uh, temperatures back down into the middle 70s. Seven day forecast showing that storm will be out of here by the time we get into Friday. Still rain chances through the forecast through the weekend into next week, but they'll start to taper down slowly as highs will be in the lower 90s. We'll be right back.